Uh, let's just hit him and see if it records. Three, four, five. A concussion is an injury to the brain. We got it. It's caused by some kind of traumatic forces acting on the head. There is a growing number of athletes who seem to be affected by these concussions and these head impacts that they experience during their playing days a little bit later on in life. The majority of athletes don't seem to have those problems as they age, and so it's tricky to know what is it that's causing these problems in some athletes and not others. Concussions are a problem because many of them go unrecognized. Clinicians have ways of diagnosing a concussion, but that would be if it's an obvious, you know, hit. But it is possible to shake the brain without actually hitting the head so hard that you can cause symptoms. We should have better tools for predicting how severe the, the initial hit was and be able to better understand how the brain responds to that hit. There's been a lot of work in the past instrumenting football helmets. Most of the attention has been on uh, measuring linear accelerations. That would be linear accelerations of the helmet. Those measurements don't record the motion of the head very accurately. And, and worse, we don't get accurate measures of the brain inside the skull. We didn't develop any of the sensors that we're testing. And the HITS system has been around for around 10 years. There are a lot of articles published using the HIT system. The HIT system fits right inside of the pads of the helmet and contains these sensors that measure head impacts. With the X-Patch system, it's a much newer system. It was originally developed as a mouth guard system instead of a patch system. The one sensor is attached to the skin behind the ear, so it's measuring both the straight line motion and the rotation about any axis. The X patch is a new system, and so people said, well, how do we interpret those values with respect to everything that we know from the HIT system? And we know neither of these systems is perfect. I'm going to test the helmet again. All right. Both systems have some flaws, and so we want to know how do we interpret the data coming out of both of these systems, and how do we compare data from one system to data from the other system? Hang on, Vic. I think we just came off of his ribs. All right, so how much did we change him when we did that? So these sensors can't really predict anything about how long the concussion will last yet. They're not good enough for that, but this is a step on the way. These systems could be an extra set of eyes to alert you to when someone has had a big head impact that you may not have seen. All right, let's put them in. Research like this will eventually result in instrumentation that will be more reliable in letting trainers and physicians and coaches know more details about the hit. And if it's combined with clinical research, then uh, that more accurate information will lead to better predictions of how severe a concussion is and how long it lasts. Ooh, that was exciting. Our research is looking at simvastatin, which is a common cholesterol uh, lowering medication. We think there, there's another application it can be used for, and that, that's in uh, retarding or reversing the degenerative process for the intervertebral disc. 